So we're going to move our pair of uh, parrot cichlids up here to this tank. Um, they're Bill and Ben. They're actually male and female, even though they are called Bill and Ben. I named them Bill and Ben before I before I found out that they were male and a female. Um, but uh, this is going to be their tank up here. So um, threw a few ornaments up here and the clay pot in here just for them to breed in. So uh, I'm going to catch them out of. I have them down here in this bucket down here. So I'm going to catch them out of here and put them up here, they've been sitting down in the bucket acclimating for a while so that they're the same temperature as this tank over here. Um, so I'm just going to catch them now. Um, you, can, you can watch me catch them if, depending on how difficult they are. I might be able to get both of them in, in the net in the one time. Yeah, okay. Now, can we bring them up now to the tank? Hopefully there isn't too much temperature difference now between the tanks. Now, just just for anyone who doesn't keep fish, if you keep if you're planning on keeping fish and you do not know what's in your water, make sure to treat your water with a dechlorinator, which can be found in pretty much any pet shop around. This is one of the most common mistakes that people keeping fish make is not using the chlorinator and I can actually see them I'm wondering are they already cleaning in there so these guys are clean an area and like the Oscars if you watch the Oscars with me before these guys are clean an area and they'll stick their eggs to that and the male will go along and fertilize so I'm kind of hoping that they'll do that in the pot because it'll be a nice easy area for us to see and film but uh, if not and uh, hopefully they'll do it somewhere else in here that's easy for us to see and we can follow and see how they go. Um, I haven't bred these guys before, but um, hopefully they'll go well. Anyway, so that's Bill and Ben. So uh, a friend of mine there today also dropped in. I don't know if you can see them. There's one here. And... There's another two in the back over there, but they're parrots, uh, the angelfish. A friend of mine dropped me over four angelfish there today. So, um, see if I can get a better shot. Of them. So, I'm trying to get it, trying to get it at the right angle for shots of these guys. Nice platinum one at the back there, trying to hide from me. There's angelfish again, another, they're part of the cichlid family, and these guys get taller than they do long, but, oh, I discovered the last one hiding in here, in the back of this mangled up sword plant that I have in here, just a reference for anyone here as well who wants to try and keep live plants in with cichlids, don't, <laughs> uh, cichlids don't really like live plants, um, well, actually, they do like their live plants, but they tend to eat them, as you can see. But there's Bob the catfish and some of the Corys. So my last little Oscar out of this tank, he's gone off to a friend of another friend's fish tank. So he's gone, and there's no Oscars in this tank now at the moment. And I do have some Oscars from that last batch, which you've seen in the videos. Um, and there's some nice ones developing in there. I also actually moved the pleco out of my big pleco out of this tank over to the babies to try and deal with some of the algae that's been growing in that tank. Um, hopefully he'll tackle it and make the tank nice and clean. But uh, you can see the quarry down the bottom there rooting around. You can actually see what they do. They root the dirt out and they kind of clean as much as they can from underneath the rocks and stuff. They're a great, great little cleaner fish to have in your tanks. But, uh, we'll pop back over to the parts now and see if they've settled a little bit. So I decided to just uh, show you a few shots of some of the little baby Oscars over here. So you can actually see this one here is one of my favorite ones that has come out of this batch. You can see in the middle of its body it's got a weird kind of albino section. And there's one of the albino babies. 
as you can see the algae has gone mad in here i've put my pleco in here and i hope that he can tackle it and he has removed a lot of the algae i literally only put him in there last night but he's removed a lot of that algae in the space of one night i'm hoping he'll get the rest of it on the wood because really if i wanted to i could clean the algae off the rock in the back myself but cleaning off the wood is actually really hard um again i love how empty this tank looks it looks every time i try and record everything anything but you can see there's plenty of babies actually in there when they want to come out and be seen but uh the two part cyclists then i've kind of settled and looks like they're gonna do something back behind it back by the filters back there which i'd prefer if they didn't i prefer if they did some stuff over here so don't want them to accidentally lay their eggs over beside the filters because if they do the most likely thing is that their babies will get sucked up but anyway we'll update you on these guys as soon as they start laying eggs or anything like that so this is their new enclosure new tank uh that's bill and ben my uh part cichlids uh a little update on the oscar babies and then we have my new angelfish which again don't really want to pose too well for the photos for for the camera but they are there there's a nice one hiding down there Again, that plant there, sore plant, beautiful plant to have in a fish tank, but if you have cichlids or any sort of fish like that that would like to nibble on plants, they will nibble on it. The moss that's in here is about the only live plant I've ever been able to keep keep in with uh, cichlids. But uh, anyway, so uh, thanks for watching and give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks, bye.